And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, November the 15th, 2021. 1969, on this date in Washington, D.C., there was an enormous demonstration against the war in Vietnam. Half a million people gathered for the event, the moratorium march on Washington. It's the birthday of the columnist, humorist Franklin Pierce Adams, FPA, born Chicago, 1881, syndicated in several New York papers beginning in 1914. The man who said there are plenty of good five-cent cigars in the country. The trouble is they cost a quarter. It's the birthday of the poet Marianne Moore, Kirkwood, Missouri, 1887, went to Bryn Mawr College, did not major in science, but she took courses in biology, and from them she took an almost scientific precision in her use of language. It's the birthday of the artist Georgia O'Keeffe, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, 1887, whose great love was the landscape around Taos, New Mexico. She took her first trip there in 1929, went back every summer to paint, and in 1946 she moved to New Mexico permanently. She gave up painting in oils when her eyesight failed in the mid-70s. She continued to work in pencil and watercolor for a few more years. In 1982, she began sculpting with clay, which she continued until just a couple of years before her death in 1986 at the age of 98. And it's the birthday of the poet Ted Barrigan, born Providence, Rhode Island, 1934. Served in the Korean War, went to college, University of Tulsa, then went to live on the Lower East Side of New York City. In the early 60s, began writing his collection of 14-line poems called The Sonnets, which came out in 1964. It was a big success. Wrote the first six sonnets in one night, then wrote two or three per day for about three months. Here's a poem for today, a poem noir, an homage to Raymond Chandler, Dana Joya's poem in Chandler Country. California night, the devil's wind, the Santa Ana blows in from the east, raging through the canyon like a drunk screaming in a bar. The air tastes like a stubbed-out cigarette. But why complain? The weather's fine as long as you don't breathe. Just lean back on the sweat-stained furniture, lights turned out, windows shut against the storm, and count your blessings. Another sleepless night when every wrinkle in the bedsheet scratches like a dry razor on a sunburned cheek, when even ten-year whiskey tastes like sand, and quiet women in the kitchen run their fingers on the edges of a knife and eye their husbands' necks. I wish them luck. Tonight, it seems that if I took the coins out of my pocket and tossed them in the air, they'd stay a moment, glistening, like a net slowly falling through dark water. I remember the headlights of the cars parked on the beach, the narrow beams dissolving on the dark surface of the lake, voices arguing about the forms, the crackling radio, the sheeted body lying on the sand, the trawling net still damp beside it. No, she wasn't beautiful, but at that age... When youth itself becomes a kind of beauty, taking good care of your clients, Marlowe. Relentlessly, the wind blows on. Next door, catching a scent, the dogs begin to howl. Lean, furious, raw-eyed from the storm, packs of coyotes come down from the hills where there is nothing left to hunt. In Chandler Country, a poem by Dana Joya from his collection, Daily Horoscope, published by Grey Wolf Press. That's the Writer's Almanac for Monday, November the 15th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>